Good morning. All right. Everyone, attention, please. It seems the painting Haragakun submitted to the contest really caught the eyes of the judges. And while it's highly unusual, they're going to reserve an award spot just for you, Hiragakun. Huh? I don't think I understand. What does that mean? It means you're guaranteed an award. At best, you'll receive first place. At worst, an honorable mention. The judges were impressed with your shading techniques and said you crafted a masterwork of realism. Congratulations, Hiraga-kun! Hey, way to go! This is the art club's first real achievement. Wait, then... That means... Yeah, that's right. He promised me. He said I could do whatever I want if I won. So this means I don't have to listen to him anymore, right? We should all do something special to celebrate. Yeah, that would be fun. Thanks, everybody. Especially you. I'm sorry if I made you worry. Let's go. You're celebrating with us, right? I don't mean to interrupt the fun, but Hiraka-kun, I'd like to fill you in on a few details. But don't worry, it shouldn't take long. The rest of you can wait outside the faculty office if you'd like. Well, Hiragakun, one of the judges saw a lot of potential in you as an artist and had an offer for you. If you're interested, they'd be willing to help arrange for you to study abroad. <laughs> How does that sound? Study abroad? Me? As an artist? Wow! As an overseas? Hiroka Senpai is amazing! Hey! Are you guys from the art club? Have you seen Hiraga? Um, he's in the faculty office now for. Hiraga! I've been looking everywhere for you! Mikarin just fainted! Come quick! Huh? Oh, okay, got it. I'll be right there. I'm very sorry, but I'll need some time to think about this. He says he doesn't want to be a doctor. But he just can't ignore people in need. That's how he is. 
a doctor's son with such an eye for art. I never thought I'd be so jealous of a student. I don't think anyone's in the mood to celebrate now. I'll let everyone know what happened. You can head out now if you'd like. See you back. Do you have some time to chat after art club? Everyone's working so hard. Is that what it seems like to you? That I'm working hard? Well, I told my dad about studying abroad. He said I should give it a try. And just the other day, he was telling me to quit. He's always wanted me to be a doctor till now. So for him to say that, I just don't know what to think. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, if I study abroad, it kind of feels like I'm doing it because that's what my dad wants. <sighs> Thanks. This has been eating me up for a while and it feels good to talk about it. You're really the only one I can talk to about this stuff. It's great that you've always made your own decisions. Not like me, though. 
sorry. We should get going. My driver's picking me up, so I can have him drop you off near your dorm if you want. section. was pretty obvious.
Making it edible first, though. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create. High priest to start on. morning.
than last time. Nutritional balance, though. <sighs> I know nutrition's not the issue here. Sorry. I can't let you eat this. I don't want to put you in the hospital. No! I'll figure out what to do with this later. You can't eat it. I'm so hopeless. I just wanted to do something to help everyone outside of battle. There aren't many chances to eat homemade food when you live in the dorm. So I thought it would be nice to cook for everyone. But... I'm sorry. I'll keep trying to get better, though. just happened, but I hope you'll be willing to taste test my cooking again. I don't think I can do this alone. Can I count on you to help? Oh, that's great! Thank you. I'm going to keep working at it. Then someday, you'll tell me you like my cooking. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I need to buy more ingredients, so I should get going. I'll see you. I see you back. schedule is so terribly packed. I don't usually have time for your average Joe, you know. You should be glad you're such a handsome boy. All right, let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me. Placebo. Hmm, the stress is on the middle syllable. Very 
very good. You're feigning interest well. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Imagine this. A supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. These are just a fraction of our unique line of products. Huh? You're really wowed by those bogus products? I suppose one could see them as rather spectacular. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them, don't they? As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Now then, that's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. <laughs> Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. Amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid! Thanks, kid. Bye-bye.
Isn't that right? I didn't put a lot of thought into what books I brought. I just took whatever caught my attention. I apologize. I should have asked what your preferences were beforehand. If you don't mind my asking now, what kinds of books do you usually read? Hmm. To be honest, I'm not too familiar with the medium, though I admit I've been curious. Combining pictures with text sounds like a powerful form of expression. Perhaps I'll borrow some from Iori to broaden my horizons. Incidentally, the books I brought today are things like biographies and history books. I can attest that they're all worthwhile reads, rather accessible ones too. I hope you find them to your liking. You're really tearing through the pages. I'm impressed by your focus. <sighs> it's nice to spend some time reading quietly together like this. Thank you. That made for a relaxing evening. Well then, it's about time we return to our rooms. Good night. I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. I've never had someone be so supportive of me like this before. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. 
You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Oh, you don't mind? But... I don't know. If we're looking for books, that means we'd need to go to the bookstore. It's not a big deal or anything, but I don't really like going to bookstores. Oh my gosh! When did it get so late? I have to go! Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? I'm looking forward to it. Very well, then. Four of us ahead of us. Put your hands up. Wave the sky to stop a good luck. Four of 
nice like this Put your hands up Love the moment even from dusk Yo, you always got my back And of course I got your back 